Hey Vector, um, I'm back with more SMP4. Now Vector asks, uh, do I exercise your strength change? Just curious, if you do what your regimen like. Uh, I used to before I got the hernia. Um, as of around uh, November, uh, December, I was able to actually start again. I just didn't because it's winter and I don't like to leave my house. So, but typically speaking, um, well, actually, tomorrow I'm planning to go to the gym, which is not far from here, uh, and re re renew my membership. But uh, I have a setup where I'm planning to uh, start off with. Uh, I'm going to mix this around so that my body doesn't get too used to it, but uh for now i'm starting with monday where it's is going to be leg day because i actually don't mind leg day um and then tuesday is going to be um a break day with wednesday being uh arms and chest uh, um thursday cardio friday core and then saturday a mix of all of that uh with core mixed into the others That's the plan right now, whether I can stick to it or not, who fucking knows. Yeah. Alright, you weak the light. You weren't able to tell last time because you missed. So she crit, but he is resistant to it. Bouncing Claw, that could be good. One to three weak physical attacks, but it's still one to three of them, so not terrible. But if any of them miss, that's kind of a problem. But I can use that in place of some of my other skills, so. Binding Claw might be better overall, just because it inflicts bind. So we get one more that we can learn, so. Alright, so this is back near the entrance. What is this? That's new. Oh! I remember you. I don't think you're weak to gun or anything, so I'm gonna try physical first. This guy's resistant to physical, that's right. I think he's weak to Zan, I think. Maybe it's fire. Or light. Oh, he's weak to light. That's good to know. I do know he is resistant to physical, though. Let's try gun. May also. No, he's not resistant to that. He dizzy. Uh, boop boop. No, okay. A lot of EXP for him, though. Navar levels up. Get some more HP. Why, Vector? Do you also work out? And if so, what's you? What, what do you tend to do? All right, so we can go over there, but I do want to finish exploring this area before we go to another new area. You don't work out? Honestly, nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Right, you were weak to boo boo. So, here's the thing, like... When it comes to my my body, my, uh, my arms are generally small, but decently shaped. Uh, my legs are great. <laughs> Uh, I used to do a lot of running, and I still walk a lot. My legs are in great shape. Uh, however, my my belly has, has fat on it, and I don't like that. Huh. 
a two mile walk five days a week. Hey, that's not too bad. That's a claw. But only one attack. Two miles isn't bad at all. See you later. And our angel levels up. Is she gonna evolve? Like, I don't know if she evolves in this. Uh, I assume she does. But I don't really know if I want her to evolve, you know? I'm still debating on whether just going with a different type in this. Oh, we're gonna bring Mothman out now, huh? Nothing. A whole lot of nothing. Alright, we're gonna head out of this area and go back and see if I got enough money to buy the sword. Here we can I'll get that. Shibaboo. So he's gonna level up soon. You know, I'm surprised actually. I haven't found a monster who knows any buff skills yet. That has not been a thing yet. Although, I think um, Mothman might have the highest. Plus, I've seen to a uh, monster ability so far with Shibabu or a debuff set plus four. All right, we're gonna head back to uh, Oeno Underground to see if we can afford that sword now. curious as to why that Entering. thing is red. It might be because it's a demon, maybe? I wish I didn't have to do this. Scanning. You may now travel between registered terminal. Not really could. This is the Yoyogi terminal. Activating transport mode. Skip this one. Complete. Oh good, it puts you outside of it. In the original game, you had to go through an entire menu just to get out of it, so... If you could accidentally transfer again if you're mashing buttons, which was super annoying. <laughs> That's a nice quality of life change. Huh. Hurry up. All, up. All right. Do not have Anything enough else? yet. Next time. It was worth looking. We need about 1,500, 1,600 more. Still, though. I'm glad we went back. It was worth checking. Alright, uh, since it costs money to heal here, I'm just gonna go and use the teleporter here to get back to, uh... This is the activating trans transport complete. There we go. It is a little sad not hearing Burrows anymore, though. I noticed this game, you seem to get a lot more um, elemental items to use in battle, which I think they're doing because Navar uses them to attack. This is the Kinshicho terminal. Activating transport mode. Transport complete. All right, let's go back and explore more of the ferry area. We still got about 20 minutes left to stream, so I want to get back in here. I am going to save now.
before the end of stream, we'll grab the next set of armor for uh, for tomorrow's stream. Well, Mondays. I figure if we're going to uh, have access to the DLC, we may as well show it off on stream. Some of it might be super OP though, so I might not use that. For more than a day, anyway. Oh, so he leveled up. Hang on, counter incursion. Thank you. Sorry about that. Alright, I'll oh, see so leveled up. Let's swap back to Navarre now. No worries, welcome back. I had a counter incursion, I had to go stop, so. All right, we got ourselves a Mothman here. Oh fuck! I should—I just realized I keep forgetting to look and see if I've been uh, my character smirking. It worked. Did not expect that to work, but it did. Fire. Okay. Good to know. Anyway, he, he dropped a Zeo stone. So I'm wondering if um, the d increased drop rate of elemental like stones is because Navar is on your team in this. Uh, and he uses um, buffs and the uh, elemental items. Alright, so I'm fairly certain this dude is uh, weak to... You're asleep, so let's see. I'm not boo boo. Alright, let's try. <laughs> okay, I think you're resistant to that. Oh, he's weak to uh, Shibaboo. Not weak to Augie. Okay, so I know he's weak to light. Yeah. This will take a bit to kill because uh, we don't have much uh, in the way of uh, damaging moves. Here's more. You don't know if it's effective. Any well, yeah. The body plateaus, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. But hey, if you're still comfortable with it, don't worry about it. <laughs> hey, you're still alive. He's dead, all right. I'm taking more MP than I should to kill this, though. That EXP though. Damn, that's some good EXPs right there. Mothman levels up and Mothman learns mana bonus. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Alright. There we go. Please listen to me. It's all just a big misunderstanding. A misunderstand- Ugh. How is finding you walking around with a dagger a misunderstanding? You two people arguing. What's going on? I see the lovebirds are at it again. This is Titania and, um... What's his name? Zomi, 
Please talk some sense into Titania. She thinks I... Oh, don't you dare make me Oberon, a yes. bad guy, Oberon. Well, by all means, explain why you have such a strange thing. It isn't what you think. The Jade Dagger is a miraculous invention. An emerald bladed dagger floats between Oberon and Titania. It lets lost souls have power in the physical world. With all the human dying in droves in the hands of angels and demons, I, I just thought I should help in some way, so I crafted the dagger for them. Why? What are you trying to do? Force dead humans to fall in love or something? Uh, no. It's a weapon for Navarre? The brilliant idea you had is what caused that mess with the magic flower. That was 400 years ago! Is that referencing something? Just... Give me the damn thing. The zombie tries to pick up the jade dagger, but a hand passes right through it. Well, that's weird. It's like intangible. Naturally. It's designed for the dead, after all. I can't even see the thing. It doesn't exist in the physical world. So, what do we do now? Let Navarre have it, I guess. Uh, I got it. Oberon turns to Navarre, yeah. You know who this dagger's perfect for? Heroes with unfinished business, like you! What? Me? A hero? Uh, I mean, of course! You heard me right, my little green hero friend. You're exactly who I had in mind. Here, take the jade dagger. Navarre obtains the jade dagger. The power is flowing through me! Not... Not that it wasn't before, but this really is something else! Navar swings the jade dagger with verb. Before long, however, he starts to slow, visibly exhausted. <laughs> Why is it suddenly so heavy? Who did this? Navar drags the dagger, a jade dagger, along the ground. Seems the dagger's run out of steam. You can fill it up with spirit energy and power spots to use it again. You obtain the jade dagger. All right, and, uh, examining the power spots filled the jade dagger with spirit energy. Once filled, press the X, pressing the X button will cause Navar to charge forward and attack things with the jade dagger. This can do three things. Destroy wraith walls. The jade dagger can destroy wraith walls that block the way. Okay, so that's what that is. Repel enemies. The dagger can be used to against enemies that are lower level than the protagonist to prevent an encounter. The jade dagger spirit energy drains as you move. Once the spirit energy runs out, you won't be able to perform another uh, perform either action. Now's my chance to shock and amaze again. Today's my day in the sun. Okay. Then go forth, hero. Go forth and uh, restore peace in the land. Well, time for Titania and I to return to our castle. You might have fooled everyone else, but I know better. I'm just glad whatever you were up to failed. Hmm. Titania, smiling in satisfaction, walks off with a disheartened Oberon. You think you can handle life under the spotlight? <sighs> As though the spotlight ever left me. I guess we should postpone that exorcism if Ghost Boy's gonna prove useful. No! No exorcism! I don't wish to die again! Okay, okay. Let's get going. Hey, Navarre is useful. I never thought I'd, I'd say that. Oh, is that what these are? Look yonder. Is that not one of Oberon's vaunted power spots? Let us make haste. Stibashi. Your energy flows into the jade dagger. Now's my chance to shock and amaze. <laughs> Indeed, this is the power spot Oberon spoke of. I can feel power coursing through me, flowing into the dagger. <laughs> this is great. Is shining through. Okay. Easy there. have been quite stuck without me. Well, yes, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been able to go down this path. It's the least I can do for those who look up to me. The Vice Dagger can break through special walls, but only remains powered for a short distance. You can chart recharge a uh, uh, power spot. So uh, plan ahead on how you plan to use it. Yeah, okay. Isn't 
there another Wraith Law that we found? Oh shit. Okay. and Horde is busy. Alright, I'm not weak to Xan, so that's good. We just killed an innocent Horde, huh? This is like the first Horde group we've run into, actually. That wasn't part of the story. Just try to keep up with me. At least they're weak to it. What? Why? Lost. Okay. That's a huge amount of XP. Hey, those will be leveled up. She didn't get anything though. Well, I guess I gotta go find my fucking demon now. That's good. Uh, let's have you attack. Getting a little low on MP, so. bring someone in until we find our demon again. He leveled up. Whoa, too many skills. Want to trim it down? Poison Claw could be good, though. Oh, I don't know many people are. Alright, I'm gonna get rid of, uh... Alright, so we're gonna get rid of Lunge for now for Binding Claw. Actually, you know what? Let's take Poison Claw instead of Binding Claw. I already have Head Crush. Let's take Bouncing Claw instead of Kulimpa here for a multi-hit attack. That seems good for now. At some point, I think I'm going to get rid of Dream Needle and just have a, uh, like a buff or something there that I can use. Okay, so let's summon in Angel in place of Oni for now. We'll swap them back out. And Mothman in place of Shang Zhao. Alright, I'm a little confused as to where he is, but. Got him. 
He did hit her weakness, that's good. What does it do? Oh, love. I don't know what love actually does. But my basic attack is pretty much just that, but better. Alright. Earthus levels up. He learned life bonus. Okay. Well, I don't actually want anything from him, so he's just gonna upgrade my head crush here, and now it takes less MP. Cool that. Cool that. <laughs> ah, there's the other wall I was looking at. Is it? No, there's actually two other walls. There's that one, and then there's one over there. There he is. Ah, I've been looking for you, Stivashi. Let's raise hell together again. Okay. Pony returns from being lost. Thank you. Alright, we got about four minutes left to stream, guys, so I'm going to, uh... Party. Summon. We're gonna bring the only up instead of you. There we go. Earth this. You're going to bring up Nadia. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? Let's see if Nadia and Earthus can merge into something good. Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows, where demons gather. Well then. So Earthus and Lian Side could become the uh, the mermaid here, who has a lot of really cool abilities. I get an angel could become Shisa. Only has one weakness. Alright, let's see. Nadja, can you merge with Earthus to become anything worthwhile? No. Yeah, you can become Goblin. I don't really want that, so. We can make, uh. You, but it's not really worth it since Oni's like, got a ton of. Uh... All right, so we'll figure something else out for you later. All right. I shall answer the call. Okay, I wish it didn't do this every time. What? We're gonna have him run up here and break this. How's that? Okay, that's broken. Now let's go over here. And maybe we can get to the other one in time. Maybe. I don't actually think we're gonna be able to make it. Oh, you did it! Haha! -ha. All right, let's just chest back here. Magic incense and luck incense. Okay, we're gonna save the magic incense when we need some healing, but uh, the luck incense we will use now. Okay, let's head back to the uh, entrance here where we're gonna be done for today. And then, uh, yeah, we'll continue on with this. I like this area. Alright, so to start with, let's uh, just shoot this fuck. There we go. Now we're gonna attack this fuck. We're gonna head crush this little fuck. Didn't stun him, shit. Need Zan on him. Head crush him. And he's dead. Alright. Hey, Lian Sude, are you gonna learn something new? Nope. Okay. I forgot, she learns all her stuff fairly late. But I think I do want to learn, uh, make Mermaid. Mermaid seems like a really cool demon. Right. Let's head back to... Bueno. We'll check our money amount, and then we will save our game and be done. We got quite a bit done today. I'm pretty happy with this. This 
is the Yoyogi Terminal. Activating transport transport complete. All right. Quite a lot done. That makes me happy. How much money do we have? I don't know if we actually picked up anything either, so. Huh. Hurry up. Okay, we got a few things. Oh, 800 and 700. We got two really good things. That might actually be enough. We don't have enough by 150. Do I have anything I can sell? These better be real. I have 19 of these. Let's sell five. Here. Anything else? All right. So this sword here will let me uh, panic when I hit. Uh, here. There we go. Anything you know else? what I could have sold actually? These better be real. I'm gonna sold the SOCOM pistol. Here. Can't sell the cursed lance. Here. Here. Anything? Else? All right. So that guys is going to be that for now. Let's save our game. Perfect. All right. 